Workers are trying to clear asbestos from a Greensboro grocery store tonight. Whole Foods temporarily shut down as it addresses the problem. WFMY News 2's Nixon Norman got some expert insight on the process. The grocery store was closed over the weekend with employees at the door notifying customers they weren't open due to maintenance. Come to find out, the store isn't dealing with just cleaning and repairs. It's dealing with a lot more. The Whole Foods and Friendly Center is the only one of its kind here in Greensboro. Known for its natural and organic foods, the grocery store is now temporarily closed after store reps say there were trace amounts of asbestos found in a non-public area, while crews were demolishing the Sears building next door. And once again, we find uh, business erring on the side of caution. Guilford Environmental CEO Wayne Hodges says that asbestos is really only dangerous once it's been messed with or stirred up, causing it to be friable. Think of a dandelion, blowing a dandelion. You got all these things around. I wouldn't recommend breathing dandelions either, but that's what it is. He says asbestos can remain dormant until something like a demolition takes place. As long as it is it's in a stable environment, it's no problem. It's when it becomes disturbed, torn, uh, deconstruction, storm damage, or something like that. Then you get a, a it, you get frayed ends, and those fibers become what they call friable, and they're floating in the air, and you can inhale them. He also says that it's fairly common for older buildings to have asbestos inside. For example, this building was probably built before 1980. Asbestos was commonly used. It was used. Uh, around hot water pipes, uh, in HVAC situations, uh, tile, adhesives. In a statement, Whole Foods said they have not received any products since closing and the perishable food items will be discarded due to spoilage. Hodges believes because only trace amounts were found, the danger levels are low. The store accepts pickups and returns for Amazon packages, but since it's closed at this time, Whole Foods says customers should contact Amazon concerning unretrieved orders shipped to a locker. It's unclear when the store will reopen.